There will be a partial lunar eclipse of the super harvest moon overnight on September 17th, 18th. This is the second supermoon of four supermoons in a row. The super harvest moon will be near the planet Saturn. Lunar eclipses are safe to view with the unaided eye. Binoculars and telescopes aren't required to view a lunar eclipse, but they do enhance the view. During a lunar eclipse, Earth's shadow falls on the moon. So if the moon passes through the dark central shadow of Earth, the umbra, a partial or total lunar eclipse takes place. But if the moon only passes through the outer part of the shadow, the penumbra, a subtle penumbral eclipse occurs. All of this partial lunar eclipse is visible in parts of the Americas, Africa, and Europe. As the eclipse begins, you should notice a light shading on the moon, followed by a dark nibble taken out of the edge of the moon. Some say you can't notice the penumbral shadow until the moon is over half immersed. Some people swear they never see the shadow, but others notice it right away. It depends on how observant you are, your vision acuity, and on your atmospheric conditions. Once Earth's dark shadow falls on the moon, it'll look like a small nibble was taken out of the moon. The dark shadow will only cover 8% of the moon. From start to finish, the eclipse will last 246 minutes, and the moon will be in Earth's dark shadow for the partial eclipse for only 64 minutes. The penumbral eclipse starts at 7.41 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The partial eclipse is from 9.12 to 10.16 p.m. CDT. And the penumbral eclipse ends at 11.47 p.m. CDT. Check timeanddate.com for your local time. Eclipses come in pairs and are known as eclipse seasons. This partial lunar eclipse is the opening act to the second eclipse season of 2024. There's an annular solar eclipse on October 2nd. It'll be visible from parts of South America, the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, and Antarctica.